Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on importing data in a Python. So in the last few tutorials we have seen about how to read a plain text file and then we will see about what is flat file. So we have seen about what the flat file looks like. So in this tutorial we are going to see about how one can read this flat file in a Python programming language and we are going to use a two very famous library like a numpy and one is a pandas. Okay, so let's begin. Before that, I have already downloaded two very famous data set. One is a amnis.csv file and another one is a titanic data set, which is also available in a form of CSV file. So let's just open this amnis.csv file. So if you see this amnis.csv file, every single row contains a sequence of letter, which is all separated by the comma. And the very first number, it indicates that particular image has a character or a letter 5. The second image has a letter 0. The third image has a letter 4. So let's try to read this with the help of numpy load txt function. Before that, let's make some necessary imports. So we are going to import this numpy library as a np. So np is the alias name we are going to use to call any of the function available in a numpy library. So inside that is numpy library, we are going to use this load text function. Just put or select this function and put the control I so we'll get the whole documentation associated with this numpy. So first we need to supply this file name file name is nothing but the mnis.csv the second argument will supply like what kind of data is there so this is all the values are integer so we'll import it as a float because for the further analysis we need that kind of floating value and all values has been separated by the comma so one more argument which is nothing but a delimiter is equal to comma so if you see here all those argument f name is nothing but the file d type is the kind of data type we want to import then the delimiter delimiter is nothing but the comma and let's assign it to the mnist mnist data okay let's just run this two line and we will analyze what that data is okay we got some error that is simple a typo only so okay we have successfully executed this MNIS data now if you see or if you go to the variable explorer you will be able to see that MNIS data available has been created and all value has been a float 64 bit value its size is 9 rows and total 785 columns are were there so if you just double click you will get to know all single data available with the mnist data okay now programmatically suppose if you want to see this mnist data just write mnist data and it will print a whole bunch of values are available inside that there is a one more argument is there comment so if there is any line which is having a comment you can just supply whatever the character by which you are trying you want this load function or load text function to get identify this comment let's say we have a comment identified by the hash value and uh, let's go to this mnist.csv and let's just uh, comment out some part and let's just rerun it again this function okay so you can see now the size has been decreased by the one so total only eight record has been imported not nine one because it has just discarded the very second one which we have commented out so in this way you can import all those uh, uh, value uh, everything is a delimiter and a separated by the comma separated value now let's see another file which is nothing but the titanic.csv here if you see the difference between this mnist.csv and a titanic.csv 
all values available in a mnist.csv which is an integer or a float value so it's a number kind of value but in case of this titanic.csv all values are either integer float or it it in a uh, string kind of format so it's a mixed data type available so let's just replace with uh, titanic rather than uh, with the help of uh, this mnist.csv so titanic.csv and let's just run it okay so it has given us the error because we have supplied this d type is equal to float so it indicates this if the data type is a kind of a mixed data type you cannot import with the help of this load txt function in a numpy library so we need to go for some little bit more generic kind of function and that generic function is nothing but the generic from tax gen from tax so we are going to use that gen from tax functionality and then we will import this titanic.csv file so we will use this gen first we will supply this titanic.csv here we will supply this d type is equal to none because we don't know what that particular data type is that because every column has a different different data type so if you see the very first column is a number it's a serial number so it's a number or integer float kind of value the immediate the very second column is not an integer but it's a string kind of other one is the so string male or female then child adult kind of values are there so these are the string value the very last uh, column which is nothing but the frequency it indicates again the number so there is no common uh, data type associated with this titanic dot csv data set so we'll supply d type is equal to none because we don't know the another argument will supply like a delimiter all values has been separated by commas so we'll supply is equal to comma and then we'll assign it to the titanic data okay let's just run it okay we have successfully executed this function now we won't be able to see it here so we'll just type it okay so it has uh, created all comma separated value and it has created this numpy array for us now if you supply this shape property on the top of this titanic data you will get to know about the total there is a 31 rows and a 6 column so if you see here there is a total 31 row and a 6 column but if you observe the very first row that is nothing but the data but it's a header header is nothing but the name of individual features name now suppose we want to discard this thing that also we can do it that is a one more argument we can pass like a skip header so skip header the very first row we want to skip it okay and let's just rerun again okay now the next time if you see okay it has still generated 31 we need to i guess skip one row okay okay we have skipped this one row so total 30 rows uh, uh, 30 rows are there it has imported rather than uh, one rows so the very first row it has already discarded so this way we can import this uh, mixed data type plus a symbol and a single data type like a float and a number with the help of numpy library numerical python library two function one is the load text function and a gen form text function now we'll go for even more generalized function which is available in a data analysis pandas library in a next tutorial so that's it for this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please 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 do subscribe